So uh, this is my, my other religiously irreverent song, and I'm pretty sure I can just stop apologizing for it now. I don't think anything bad is going to happen. I, I used to kind of tiptoe around this one. Funniest, the funniest time was uh, you know, I, I told a story about how I hooked up with uh, the humanistic Jewish congregation up in Highland Park. They had this little tiny ad in Chicago Reader. About you know, an inch by two inches, and it said, "Feeling a little bit Jewish? Call us." <laughs> that is exactly, precisely how I feel. Thanks to my wacky immigrant parents, and all their own, just like their own rules around uh, around religion that they they identify with. Um, so I so I told this story, you know, and how that led to me, you know, writing song about this character who's the most unapproachable girl in the world for me personally. And then this old Jew comes up to me after I, I play the song. He's like, you shouldn't talk about Judaism that way. Give me your address. I'll send you some books. And I was so shocked. And I gave the guy my address. And he sent me these crazy books. <laughs> um, crazy in a holy, funny way. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to have to apologize for this. <laughs> Whatever folks have to think of this not happening. There's a new girl in town, she's been walking around, turning heads up and down Ellison Street. Seen her in all the smoky bars, singing songs by the mothers of Jefferson Star. She strums her crap like She prays a lot like Martin Luther. I try to talk to her, but there's an anger on my tongue. I can't break through her excommunication barrier. Be going to do with a woman like that, woman like that, Sister Mary Catherine, rock and roll nun. Every week I confess, I'm still trying to guess what she looks like underneath that angle nasty dress. Love to break up her hat, take her out. That make her watch the same snow Thank you. 